Meghan Markle is more commonly referred to as the Duchess of Sussex these days. But what is her birth name, and why doesn't she use it? Meghan Markle has been on quite a whirlwind over the past year. First, she married her very own prince, and was dubbed the Duchess of Sussex by Queen Elizabeth II. And now, she is expecting her own little royal with Prince Harry, due in the spring. But while Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, has a nice ring to it, most people will always refer to the former actress as Meghan Markle. However, that's not actually her real name. Well, it's not her full name at least. Meghan was in fact named Rachel Meghan Markle at birth, yes, Rachel is the same name as her character in the legal drama suits. And in fact, it's not just Meghan who doesn't go by her birth name, Prince Harry doesn't either. When the Queen issued her formal consent to the marriage, she declared the couple's full names, My Lords, I declare my consent to a contract of matrimony between my most dearly beloved grandson Prince Henry Charles Albert David of Wales and Rachel Meghan Markle, which consent I am causing to be signified under the great seal and to be entered in the books of the Privy Council. So, Rachel and Henry it is then. Why doesn't Meghan use her real first name? Meghan has never told the public why she doesn't go by Rachel, although she's never hidden it either. Going by the many, many interviews her family members have given, who could forget all those her dad afforded the British press, she has always been Meghan or Meg at home, and we've heard her mum call her Meg too. She was probably happy to stick with Meghan when she started her acting career. It's common for fledgling actors to choose a stage name, one that has a nice ring to it. Meghan Markle, with its alliteration, certainly has a nice ring. Harry's reason for going by Harry rather than Henry is a bit more confusing. The name Henry derives from the old French name Henri, and over time, during the medieval period, the English version, Harry, started to be used over here. Most monarchs called Henry were referred to by those who knew them as Harry, including Henry VIII. When Princess Diana and Prince Charles announced their second son's name, the palace said that he'd be known officially as Prince Henry Charles Albert David, but just Harry to his family and chums. As the prince grew up, he was just referred to by Kensington Palace, and therefore the press and public, as Prince Harry. So that's why Henry has just remained an official title. 